Well, she lived in a mansion, they say, but now taxpayers appear to be on the hook for her legal defense. She's accused of killing her husband by using eye drops. Lana Sue Clayton is charged with murdering her husband in York County, and now reporter Stephanie Tinoco learned she says she can't afford a lawyer. She lived in this $1.2 million house on the lake, and despite her lavish lifestyle, taxpayers will be covering her defense. She's accused of poisoning her husband with eye drops. It's a wild case. It's, it's extraordinary in, in, the, in its rarity. And one that has the attention of people around the country. You just don't hear or see these things, even on a national basis. Even attorneys not affiliated with this case are intrigued across state lines. It's one of the most unique cases I've ever heard of. York County detectives say Lena Sue Clayton confessed to spiking her husband's water with eye drops over the summer, which eventually killed him. Tetrahydrozoline, the active ingredient in eye drops, works by constricting blood vessels, so it acts like it's a neurotoxin. I've never heard of anything close to this. Public records show the Claytons were married for over four years and lived on this $1.2 million estate on Lake Wiley. But as of today, South Carolina taxpayers will pay for her defense lawyer. None of those assets were in her name or uh, were accessible to her at this time. Before a public defender was assigned, Gary Lamell helped determine Clayton had no access to the $820,000 home or the lakefront property worth another $385,000. She basically owned nothing and the current executors of the estate will not be providing her assistance in her defense. Bill Powers, an attorney not affiliated with this case, says this isn't that rare. Nationwide, that's probably not that unusual. I, I, I suspect that one of the defenses was that she had no motive uh, because she had no nothing to gain, no money. An alleged motive has not been released at this time. Reporting in the newsroom, Stephanie Tinoco, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.